magandang umaga po. This tapestry came from the village where I was born. So I feel protected by the women who wove these things. It's good to be here. I will start by saying that partnership with the United Church of Canada and the church in the Philippines, namely the United Church of Christ and the NCCP, in the quest for justice and peace, through the struggle to defend human rights and civil liberties, has done more than we can ask or imagine. I have lost count already of the number of UCC constituents who have traveled not to tour the Philippines, but to bear the pain and the anger of impunity that has remained to this very day. I have lost count of those who came to bear the hope that we bore amidst a situation where our pastors, our church workers, young and old women are killed extrajudicially or are forced to disappear, all because they stand for the truth and human dignity and the preservation of land from the clutches of greedy multinational mining firms, some of them registered in the Toronto Stock Exchange, even if they are not Canadian owned. The first time I spoke before a group of people in Canada was at the University of Toronto. And I said that on matters of social justice, it's a choice of the church to either be a monument or to be a movement for change. The second time I spoke was before the delegates and participants of the Quebec Montreal Conference. And I said, it is all right to be concerned with your pensions, but it is also important for you to know that the pension funds invested in mining companies involve mean the death and the future of indigenous people in my country and in many parts of South America. Since the time there have been a series of brothers and sisters from the United Church coming to the Philippines. They have not done what Justin Bieber did in the Philippines, but they have done far better in establishing the relationship between people to people and trying to understand the real issues that matter most, the issues of life and issues of death. Of late, there has been the Beaconsfield Initiative, which I am sure most of you know of. It's an initiative for justice and peace. Whatever there is between you and among you about the Beaconsfield Initiative, one thing is very clear. It is all about the preservation of life. It is a concrete expression of social justice. In a few months, the executive secretary of the Montreal Quebec Conference, Rosemary, will come to the Philippines again. She was, she was present during our uh, National Assembly and she will be with us uh, end of November and we look forward to her coming as the face of the United Church of Canada in the Philippines at the time. The gathering, we will have a big gathering of ecumenical women and we, we hope uh, to welcome her there. Justice and peace and partnership is all about appreciating how Jesus was born in an age of empire where the savior of the world was not welcomed and where to speak about justice is not a joke, where it involves your own life, where it, in country like mine, it's a death sentence. It takes appreciating more fully this whole world, word of solidarity as understood from the perspective of the word becoming flesh. Yesterday, I mentioned to my group I don't know how it would mean if the word did not become flesh. I don't know what the world would be if it remained to be flesh but did not dwell among us. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Good morning. 